Cooper, we're going to talk health right now and bring in our good friend, Dr. Yvette Liu. Uh, Yvette, welcome to the show once again. And Thank we're you. talking about the need for medical attention that's not an emergency. It can be really difficult to navigate this during a pandemic. So what are the options for people? Are the family doctors operating like yourself? And are the walk-in clinics open as well? Yes, so I want to let everyone know that family doctors are open. We are seeing people mostly by phone and by video. So you don't have to leave your home to see the doctor. If we do need to see you in person, we'll help you navigate that safely. We have procedures in place in our office to keep everyone physically distanced and safe. If you don't have a family doctor, walk-in clinics are also open and they are seeing people by phone and video and in person as well. Okay, there's a little bit of preventative care that may not be available right now, but the, you know, problems like injuries, infections, other illnesses, those are all gonna be treated right now. Yes, we're not doing things like pap tests, but we're seeing injuries, infections, and other illnesses, like if you have a headache or a stomach ache or something like that. Now, we are doing childhood immunizations. That's one of the major exceptions because it's important for children still to have their immunizations on time. Measles doesn't go away in a pandemic. Yeah, and then people obviously need access to medications if they have high blood pressure, heart issues. Yes. So that is more important than ever. Yes, that's right. It's very important for people with chronic conditions to keep in touch with their doctor to make sure their conditions are well managed because we know that people with high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attack or a history of heart attack or coronary artery disease, these people are at higher risk if they catch a COVID-19 infection. So we really need to make sure their conditions are well managed. Also, people with mental health issues, yeah. whether you have new symptoms or whether you are experiencing a flare-up of your previous mental illness, it's really important to stay in touch with your family doctor at this time, and they can help connect you to resources. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, as a family doctor and someone was coming to you with uh, mental uh, health issues, would you uh, recommend uh, someone else in a different field, or would you just sort of do your best to help them manage that because you are their family physician? It depends on the situation. So if I know them well, then often I will deal with it in the office. Okay. Um, if it's a very serious condition and I feel like they need more help, then I'll connect them to additional resources. So it, it's very situation dependent. And there's a strange irony uh, with all this that we're seeing actually shorter wait times for some procedures just because of the lack of people uh, in the hospitals right now. Yes, so because of the cancellation of non-urgent hospital procedures, some specialists have more time on their hands. So we're actually seeing them available for phone consults or video consults maybe a little bit more sooner than usual in some cases. Interesting. And I guess overall, when we look at the big picture, it's all systemic. If your immune system gets compromised, you're going to be uh, more susceptible to these kind of things. So overall, it's more important than ever uh, to stay healthy, to make sure you're on top of any changes in your body or any symptoms that you may see. And don't be afraid to think that like I can't get into the doctor to see me because as you're saying right now you you're available for care yes exactly we're available and the emergency rooms are available as well it, we've been finding that people are afraid to go to the emergency room or yeah. they just don't go because they think that um, maybe they don't want to be a burden on the health care system so people are waiting longer to go to the emergency room and what happens is then we're catching their conditions later, and it makes it wow. harder to heal these conditions when they wait longer to go to the emergency room. We know that for like things like appendicitis, heart attack, stroke, the earlier you go to the emergency room, the better. So you don't have to be afraid to go to the emergency room if you're sick, like if you have a serious condition. And if you're not sure if it's serious or not, then you can call your family doctor. They can help you assess as to whether or not you do need to go to the emergency room. Okay, great tips as always, Yvette. We thank you so much. We'll get this posted online for all of our viewers. Thank you. Okay, you take care of that. Uh, Dr. Yvette Liu, family physician, good friend of our show, with some excellent tips on navigating health care during the pandemic. Russ has